What's up guys, this is Trey with Smart Home Starter and we're doing a quick video today on audio delays, specifically with Samsung TVs and how we can fix those. So just to jump right into it, first thing we're gonna wanna look for is whether or not the TV has an update. You can find this in the support uh, section inside of your TV settings menu. And if it does, a lot of times this can cause some conflicts, which in turn lead to that audio delay. And this might be the way to fix it. Now, if there is no update, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna check everything. We're gonna check our HDMI cables, our HDMI port. We're gonna check the sources. Uh, let's, let's just see if anything else is working. For example, if our sound bar is in port one, let's move it to port two and see if we're still seeing those issues. We're also going to check the source. Um, if we're watching on the TV source where the audio delay is, let's check another source and see if we're still having the same issues there. If not, it just might make sense to reconfigure how you have your audio set up. A lot of times it is coming down to whether or not you have a good connection. So we want to make sure that we're set up the best we possibly can be to make sure we do not have this audio delay or these sync issues. Now, the next thing that we can check is the actual sound within the TV. So let's walk through this real quick. So grab your remote control. And what we're gonna do is open the settings menu. Uh, from here, we're gonna scroll down to sound, open this menu and scroll down to expert settings. So in expert settings, we have a lot of options that we can play with, but first we're gonna start with just simply resetting the sound. So scroll down to the bottom, select it and go ahead and reset the sound. See if this fixed your issue. Now, if it didn't and you are using a soundbar you can um, play with the audio delay here so um, uh, you should have your tv on when you're doing this just to see if it's uh, fixing the issue in real time but see if that helps you and then i've also played with the uh, output audio format it's on auto currently but you can also change it to pcm um, PCM is really hard for me to explain, so I'm not going to try, <laughs> but uh, that might help you as well. So yeah, this is the uh, sound settings. Now, if we've reset the sound and played with the audio delay settings on the TV, we're still seeing the issues. What we're going to need to do is actually check the sound bar. So me personally, I have Sonos, so I have an app that I can use. In that app, it gives me more control over the uh, output or input of the audio for the, the TV. So if you have access um, to something like this, definitely get in there and play around. If you have a remote control for your uh, sound bar, they have a button usually that you know, it's one, two or three for the, uh, the audio delay. And maybe this will help you fix those issues as well. All right, so we're still having these issues. So what we're gonna do, we're going to unplug everything. Okay, so we're gonna plug the TV. We're going to unplug the sound bar. We're gonna unplug all the HDMI cables and we're gonna let it sit for about 60 seconds, maybe longer. We're hoping that this is gonna push out any of the electric buildup that may be causing this issue. This is also gonna be kind of a soft reset for your soundbar and your TV. And if this doesn't work, we can also try a factory reset. Now factory resets are gonna erase all your settings. On your soundbar, that may not be many, but for your TV, that's going to be everything. Basically, if you have your uh, Disney Plus password saved, it's going to delete those and you're going to have to sign on again. And that can be a pain. Well, that's all we got. I hope that was helpful. I hope one of those things helped you fix your audio delay problems. And honestly, in my experience, it's my audio delay just comes back at random times. And sometimes it could even be uh, the N Netflix is, is acting buggy or Amazon Prime is acting buggy. Or, or your cable is acting weird or your internet is slow, right? There's a lot of things out of our control that could be causing that sound delay as well. Um, but we do hope you get it fixed. Do me a favor if this was helpful, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if it was, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.